what's going on everyone today we're going to be watching and reacting to american horror story season 9 episode 6 which is titled episode 100 so i guess that's yeah oh yeah it must be episode 100 of the whole show because now that i'm thinking about it we are at nine seasons and most of the seasons have had a little over 10 episodes so it would make sense that we would be at episode 100 by now that's crazy i can't believe i've sat down and watched a hundred episodes of these this show now but we're almost to the end of the season we just reached the halfway point i guess last episode and things changed quite a bit i mean you know brooke went to prison margaret is out there and a lot of the other characters are dead and are now ghosts at camp redwood also the night stalker and mr jingles have escaped so guess let's just see what's going to happen next if you want to see the full cut reaction that'll be my patreon links will be in the description down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel let's watch 1985 so we got a bit of a time jump oh shit you have to wake up early for Disneyland. please turn it down idol only plays one way full throttle <laughs> what you don't got billy idol in france i'm from germany yeah i was gonna say it does not sound like a french accent you want to come in oh no, oh, no. <laughs> Go. Stay out of this. I need to sleep. <laughs> Mr. Jingles, being the moral man. <laughs> You're starting to be a real drag, you know that? You know, I've been your little sidekick for a year. I'm tired. I don't like your music. I don't like living like an animal. It's not so bad. And I've had to watch you kill. Do you even keep track? Because I do. Eleven. Yeah, he's not as evil as the Night Stalker, clearly. Because he wasn't originally evil. He wasn't born with it. If you bail, there will be hell to pay. Literally. <laughs> They're just going on killing sprees. His hair is crazy. Uh, you want anything? Tab. <laughs> Very different kind of music. Oh shit. Someone should probably call the police. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they're gonna hunt him down, but <laughs> they should probably call the police too, just in case. Well, actually, you know, he doesn't have a gun on him, so. <laughs> He's completely surrounded. Oh shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jingles, you better hope he's dead dead though Because if they don't kill him He's going to come after you So I would, you know I feel like it's a good idea to make sure he's dead Maybe, I don't know Brooke wants your blood 1980 well, What kind of time jumps are we fucking doing right now? <laughs> what? We're just skipping all the years Oh, dude, that little that was like a, that from that was like the the Halloween cue that they usually do when when Michael Myers appears. Is that Montana? Take a picture. Oh shit! It'll last longer. You better not kill this dude. You can take my picture. <laughs> um, sure. Top on or off? He's the most excited he's ever been his entire life right now, probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm here with my girlfriend. I won't tell him. Oh, is he? Okay, never mind. Or is he gonna be an asshole? Mm, that's nice. I think she is gonna kill him. Stick it in me, birthday boy. <laughs> oh, <God>, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Now is she doing that because he's a cheater, or just because she's a psycho and wants to kill? Aren't you bored of this by now? Seriously, I haven't wanted so much as to touch a living person since 1972. Ugh. Get that yeah. old timers. Bitch and kill, babe. I call next. What makes ghosts want to kill so badly? I don't know. So has Brooke been in prison this whole time? Today, we all know Margaret Booth. Margaret, what the hell? Why is she all rich? Whose properties range from the macabre 
to the locks macabre. Margaret began gobbling up properties with a dark history. John Wayne Gacy's Ranch House. Briarcliff Manor. Winchester Mystery House. Oh, Briarcliff? Wow. Behind every successful magnate what? is a devoted spouse. The doctor said the knife missed my heart by millimeters. What? Front and back. When I came out of the coma, I looked up and there she what? was. What? Wait, are we for real? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's not dead? He doesn't seem to be happy about it because he knows she did it. It's an immersive experience. Why is he Why do just you think accepting this the house? If Pogo the Clown is not scooping cones of Rocky Road in the crawl space where Gacy <laughs> hid his bodies at that grand opening, I will make that fat fuck's crimes look like a Boy Scout Damn. jamboree. There it is. A charm of Margaret Booth, mistress of the macabre. Oh my god. I've given you everything and I can take it all away. Go ahead. Yeah, I may miss the Bentley, the Yayo, the Jiu Jitsu lessons, but I don't need that shit. You do. You gave up on God. Money can't fill the void left in his place. Old habits die hard and the darkness still whispers. So don't you fuck with me. You're gonna kill me. Make sure I'm dead this time. Oh shit. I was overjoyed when I heard you woke up. You've been in my prayers every night. <laughs> she always seemed so sweet. I never thought she'd be capable of such brutality. Well, people have ways of Oh, so it. she convinced him that Brooke did it. Your strength inspires me, Margaret. I don't think he believes it anymore, though, at least not massacres. in the present day. It seems impossible. Unless you're the one holding the knife. He, he does still know. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he bought the bullshit. If I come forward, there will be a trial. And you have an army of lawyers and a fortune at your disposal. Me, all I have is my word. The only way I can make it now. He's going to blackmail the shit out of her. <laughs> a wealthy sugar mom. I hate you. I hate you more. <laughs> This season is in an, a very different direction than I was expecting with, with this episode, or even with the last episode, how that ended. <laughs> Miss Booth. Oh, shit! What kind of assistant would I'm I be if I didn't back. zip over the minute I heard? Heard what? Brooke Thompson has lost her last appeal. She's this actor be hasn't been in the season since... Oh, she's gonna be executed? That's so fucked up. She didn't do shit. But that actor, I don't think he's been in a season since season six, I want to say. <laughs> I oh, shit. See each other again. Why are they letting her stop it in front of him? You now you're where you belong. Montana would be happy. I gutted that bitch from the inside out. <laughs> and now she's in hell licking Satan's balls. <laughs> she should be so lucky. I like how she has a bit of an edgier, edgier side to her now. God damn it, Montana! Here comes Cranky There's Pants. There's a dead body on the dock, rotting in broad fucking daylight! Chill. Just clean it up like you always do. No, you can't kill every single person that wanders through here! I'm glad Ray's being reasonable. There are no rules for the dead. You don't know that. You don't know why we're stuck here. No one does, Ray. But you know what I realized? Nothing we do matters. All right, but like, have... S you, like... <laughs> Oh, why are people so evil? But being bad feels really good. So you and the old right. timers in the right. entire fucking universe can suck it. Holy shit, look. That was about Brooke. Convicted on 11 counts of first degree murder. This can't be. She didn't do anything wrong. She killed me, Ray. Wasn't that wrong? That was wrong, yeah. Ray. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Oh Hello. shit. Where's Dustin? I don't know who that is. Um, I was just uh, hiking around and I saw your newspaper. The body was not cleaned up, right? Wait, where is? Bye, bitch. Oh! Ah! Oh, the blood got in his mouth. I'm done cleaning up after you assholes. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be standing around any of that. Electric chair. That's how I want to go. Bolts of lightning shattering through my body. It's rock and roll. A lethal injection. That one's no fun. They say sedation makes it more humane. So you won't suffer. That's a lie. 
Well, I mean, they're killing. The, I mean, most of the time, obviously, there's cases like this where she does not deserve this. But if it's being done to an actual serial killer, it's like you have my help. You, you kind of deserve it, you know. Face, you have potential. Yeah, so he can just appear into her room because of oh, his Satan abilities now. Say yes. Nah, you don't want to subject yourself to that. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna get out of here otherwise, though. You're gonna want to see this. Murder returns to Camp Redwood. Do we still own that camp? That means we're liable. She's aware of the ghosts that were there. Oh, this is just a disaster. This is not a disaster. This is the best news we've gotten in years. Why? I don't know what she's thinking. I don't really know. Yummy, yum green stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> He's, like He's got a father. family now? <laughs> he hates his vegetables. Oh, shit. At least he ain't killing no more. Sometimes I don't feel like I deserve him or you. Not after everything I've done. You were a murderer, and I was a prostitute. And people like us need to forget the past. Yeah, I don't think murder and prostitution is on the same level, but, you know, if you want to say it is, I don't know. <laughs> I know that she wasn't saying that, but, like, it's just the way she worded it. <laughs> Wait, so, couldn't the Night Stalker have gotten out of the prison by now? Why hasn't he left? He probably could get out of there, right? Due to the, um, the abilities he has. Gotta love hey, a video store. The movie at the end of the tape. Be kind, rewind. I don't give a shit about renting videos. But you're killing it, Donald. I like it here. I heard the owner's thinking about opening another store in Juneau. Lots of opportunities in VHS. Damn, I love this music. I want to baptize this place. Yes, with the cool waters of this bottomless lake, which is perfect for swimming and boating. I've secured an all-star lineup of fans. There's literally a bunch of ghosts here. <laughs> They're gonna be killing people. Any of your famous scares planned for Halloween night? You know me well. But they're gonna be actually killing people. Aren't you concerned with the recent murders that occurred in this very spot? There's still blood on the dock. Well, yes. <laughs> there may be a killer. Is she gonna try to play it off like it was all Don't a publicity stunt? Maybe not. She's literally just playing it off as something that actually happened. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have any idea what it feels like to have every cell in your body screaming for oxygen and all you can breathe is water? That bitch needs to die. Yeah, I hope you do kill her. You'll have your chance. We all will. The site for the hottest music fest on Halloween weekend is Camp Redwood, the blood-soaked grounds of the infamous 1984 <laughs> murder. Look at his face. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? I look at that place now and I feel nothing. I don't believe that. You feel something. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's gonna go there. I mean, there's a lot of people who are already after Margaret, so I mean, what's one more person? Well, I think I have some news that you might like. What there's is that? a concert coming up. It sounds really cool. They're having it out where they had all those murders in 84. Hmm. Camp Redwood. Check out the headliner. <laughs> Billy Idol. <laughs> He'll go just for that. These other bands. Bunch of one hit new wave clowns. 20 years from now, no one's gonna know they've ever existed. The 80s was their time and mine. But the decades ending. Pretty soon I'm gonna be just like them. A true artist has many faces. They produce over many decades, not just one. They evolve. He's using this as a metaphor for his killings. Yeah, he's talking about himself, not just the bands. I wanna be immortal. He's gonna escape. It's time. Her final meal doesn't look that interesting. <laughs> Last chance, baby girl. Ride or die. I feel like she's gonna do it. No? Give me a shot at immortality, and I promise the rivers of hell will overflow with the rain of souls that I send you. Oh, shit. I know you're there, Margaret. I have committed no crimes. I am and always will be innocent. I'm glad she's sticking to that. And you are gonna burn for wanting to watch me die. <laughs> Damn. I really hope she gets her revenge. Like, really, really hope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shit. Oh 
shit. I think it's gonna like possess him. <laughs> yeah, so that he probably has control over him now. So he can come in here and stop this from happening. I knew you'd come. Time of death, 12.02 a.m. The sentence of Brooke Thompson has been carried out. Nah, she's gonna come back. The power of Satan's gonna bring her back to life. <laughs> oh, that was anti-climactic. That's a fucking Trevor, I liked you. what it was. They why are you standing by and letting this happen? Well, I know why Trevor's dealing with it, but... <laughs> I wish he had more sympathy than that. He does not. I came here last night and rented three movies. Friday the 13th, Faces of Death, and Nightmare on Elm Street. Hell yeah. This is what Best horror me. movie of all time right there. Nightmare on Elm Street, not, not the other ones. In terms of endearment, Mystic Pizza, and Tootsie. Is this some kind of joke, or are you just plain stupid? There's not one kill Damn. in those three movies. You shouldn't watch horror movies. There's... Too much violence in this society. <laughs> there is too much violence in society, but I think fictional violence, it's, it's, it's a different, you know, it's different. Sorry I'm late. Brad had me stocking a hundred copies of Who Framed Roger Rabbit for Friday. Lorraine? Oh, what the fuck? Don't tell me the Night Stalker hunted him down. Shit. Oh my God. The, don't tell me the kid too. Oh, definitely Lorraine, but don't tell me the kid, too. This motherfucker. Okay, at least the kid's okay. Wow. <laughs> but how are you going to fight against someone with literal, like, Satan abilities? I don't know how you're going to fight against someone like that. Where's Lorraine? Dead! Sister's dead. Oh, it's her sister. I thought I could have a life. I thought I could be free. All right, but you're making it sound like you did it, though. Like, where are you going? If you love him, why are you leaving? To protect him. Are you not even reacting to the fact that your sister's dead? <laughs> this is really campy. I mean, this whole show is, but this this feels extra campy. And he's got the fucking keys. <laughs> yeah, they're going full camp. I like it, though. I like it. A lot of 80s horror movies were like that. It's, you know, it's on par for, for the genre. Yeah, so this is definitely the Night Stalker bringing her back to life. What? 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 Okay, I was not expecting that. I, don't, I thought it was the fucking Night Stalker. All right, that's a really weird episode, but I, I liked it. I liked where this is headed, and... I'm excited to see this concert thing that's going to go down at the, at the camp because there's going to be a lot of characters going back there. But it gives a good reason for these characters to want to return back there. The only reason I can see Brooke returning there, obviously, is to try to kill Margaret for what she's done. Jingles wants to do that. Uh, also, I guess at this point, also kill the Night Stalker. Then you have Montana who wants to kill Brooke. It's just so much shit going on. There's so many different storylines, so many different characters and everything that are involved in this in different ways. And that element of this season is fun to watch. But I do think they have chalked up the campiness to a thousand in this episode, at least compared to the first five. I think the whole season was, but this whole show is. And I, th I think that's the charm of it and why I've enjoyed it so much. It's it's a fun show. It, it takes a lot of the stuff, you know, there's, there's serious moments. But at other moments, they're just purely just having fun with it. And I think it works. But this episode felt like that more than anything I noticed. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. Like, really was enjoying it. The, the, what they're doing with Trevor here is interesting because Trevor was a character that I feel like had at least some level of morality to him. But he kind of dropped that now that he's basically stuck in this. Uh, well, he originally thought he wouldn't be able to convince anyone that Margaret was the one who did it. So he just said, fuck it, I might as well get some money out of this. But, you know, I do wish he was going to actually try to do something. Hopefully he tries to do something maybe next episode, but maybe not. Maybe he's just stuck in that and he's not going to bother. Uh, what else was in this episode that I liked? I liked a lot of the stuff with Mr. Jingles, though. I liked the fact that he tried to actually have a different life outside of it. I liked that they did a time jump, too. I thought that was interesting. And, yeah, don't really have much else to say about it. We have three episodes left of this season, so we're almost done with it. And so far, it's been a pretty good season. I don't think it's one of the better ones. 
I love the aesthetic of it. It's like aesthetically, like in, in like the atmosphere, the music, it's definitely my favorite. But story wise, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. So it's definitely not like top three or anything. But I would say it's probably like top, maybe top five, maybe like just below the top five. It's not bottom. Like it's definitely not the bottom couple for sure. It's, it's more, I think it's more so in the middle for, for my ranking. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it ends by the end of the season, though. I'm really not sure what it's going to turn out to be like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out my full on cut reaction on my Patreon. The links that will be in the description. Peace out, everyone.